what's going wrong here is all of us are using 18th century ideas about human nature. I think it'll depend on your generation to begin a new global discussion. This blogosphere community has to generate this debate. And that is call for a rethinking of human nature, what is the meaning of the human journey, and how do we live on this planet together. Capitalism, we know, is a, is a male concept, is a masculine concept. Empathy is a, a feminine concept in a way, because it's so peculiar um, of female culture. I was um, actually wondering how you stood on that. And this book is about beginning with the great hydraulic civilizations, we began patriarchal, centralized, kind of a masculine approach to organizing our world. And we create a new distributed thinking and we recapture our empathic core and we get a balance between ma male and female side of each of us, for sure. We miss, at the moment, uh, a way to finance and to have a, a healthy financing of uh, everything. What's your opinion? Your optimism is uh, at risk. Financing is very interesting. I'll give you one of many ways we finance. Phillips is in our group. Rudy Provost is on my executive committee. So what happens in Rome, Rudy will come in and say to the city of Rome, we, Phillips, and our bank will pay for changing every outdoor lighting in this city. We will pay for all the public lighting and we'll transform it to compact fluorescent and LED. We'll pay for it. You pay us back by the energy savings over a period of years. It's called performance contracting. What is exactly the difference between uh, a humankind as a mass thinking and uh, your vision of uh, distributed and connected thinking. Empathy requires individuality. It goes hand in hand with self-development. To the extent that one becomes increasingly individualized, one is able to increasingly reassociate and empathize with broader others. Communications revolutions that converge with energy, those, are the, those communication revolutions increasingly create selfhood and extend empathy. What's the roadmap towards the, uh, the degree of, uh, of awareness uh, needed for the endorsement of a culture of empathy? It's a very dangerous period. This is exactly the period that we have to have a great global discussion about who we are as human beings and what is our na narrative. Are we homo empathicus? If so, how do we begin to have an intelligent discussion through the blogosphere and the biosphere to begin to reorient ourselves to live in one earth. What is the role of the arts in this uh, revolution? Art is, is, going to have to, is going to have to play a very big role. What interested to me is performance art now and what we call momentary art. This is quite interesting. That's a stretch in empathy because we're seeing the fragility of each moment. You underlined many times the, the importance and the role of the next generations. They are going to take over us because it's biological, it's a question of time. But what if they don't get there in time? In the 60s we had the same thing. Baby boom generation, oh, our parents, and they were, it was a mess. I think what you ought to keep in mind is how, we, how important your responsibility is as, as bloggers to treat the, this blogosphere very seriously, ratchet up the conversation, um, because you have the ability now, six, six degrees separation removed, to begin a global conversation. Make sure it's an intelligent, thoughtful, empathic conversation. Don't let it mire down into trivia, entertainment, because you'll lose the opportunity for the species. It's a big, I think it's a really big responsibility.